Oh, that first iced coffee in the morning always hits so differently. I get a couple of questions actually recently about what I do with my iced coffees. It's literally the simplest thing in the world. All I do is use a, they do have specific iced coffee capsules. If I run out of that, I just use any other capsule from my Nespresso. Um, put it in my Nespresso machine, add some ice. I don't do it as a cold coffee. I'm gonna put this down actually. Um, a few people ask me about whether I use like a specific, um, like setting how I create a cold coffee on my Nespresso machine because they're obviously not designed for cold coffees. I don't. All I do is make sure to add a lot of ice beforehand, do a normal coffee so it comes out really hot, um, and then add cold milk and add my vanilla syrup, which is just my favourite thing in the world. And it's a lovely vanilla iced coffee, which is just, oh, so good. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I am in a wonderful mood this morning, which is actually quite surprising. I feel like I should probably be feeling a little bit more frazzled. I normally am feeling a little bit more frazzled at this point because I'm actually going away on holiday tomorrow, which I am so excited about. I feel like I've spoken about this holiday quite a lot over the past couple weeks, but yeah. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's somewhere that I've only ever been to once and that was literally just before the pandemic. I don't think I've actually told you where I'm going yet. So I'm actually heading off for a week's girl trip to Tenerife, which I am so excited about. As I said, been to Tenerife once. It was actually back in 2020. It was the February of 2020 and I had a press trip with Jess Jet 2 at Lanzarote and then I flew over to Tenerife from Lanzarote and met Alex there and we just had a really lovely romantic, I think it was just a long weekend, I think it was like four days or something, it wasn't very long but it was literally the last trip that we did before, was that the last trip? No, I don't think that was the last trip I did but it was before everything happened with Covid and so it literally feels like a lifetime away. I feel like we really do need to have like a um, BC and AC like before COVID and after COVID because I feel like such a huge gap. It always feels so bizarre. So um, yeah, really, really looking forward to that. So today is basically holiday prep day. I'm getting my nails done today. I'm getting myself sorted. I feel like it's really like a rite of passage for us girls to have all this like holiday prep. I feel like it's part of the fun of the holidays, like getting ready for it, getting yourself sorted, making yourself all beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my nails done today because they are very, very grown out, um, not looking their best. But one thing I do love about having such a nude colour is I feel like it's always so much more subtle whenever your nails start to grow out. So <laughs> I have left these a little bit longer than I normally would. I've left them for almost three weeks now just because I wanted to make sure that I got them done just before I went away so that they're really nice and fresh. I'm getting my nails done today. I need to do a really big old fake tan. I feel like Oh my goodness, my heart. I, f I almost knocked my coffee flying then. Whew, that was a close one. But I feel like I'm actually looking quite naturally tanned at the moment. This is me without any fake tan on right now. And you guys know what I'm like normally like in the winter when I have no fake tan on, I would literally be the same color as this dress right now because I'm so pale, such an English rose. I always say it's the Scottish in me. I have Scottish skin. Um, so I have no fake tan on at the moment. And I do actually have a little bit of a glow so I'm like oh I think I actually have a bit of colour which I never ever normally get colour but I feel like this year I've spent a lot of time outside especially having the garden I feel like it makes such a difference you don't realise how much time you're spending in the sun when you're just like in the garden reading or like pottering about or gardening and things like that um so I feel like I have caught a little bit of colour so yeah I need to fit tan today get my nails done start packing start planning my outfits because I haven't even done that so it's going to be a busy busy day. I'm heading off to go and get my nails done in about half an hour but before I go I have a few things that I wanted to open and unbox with you because I've had some really exciting new deliveries arrive that I wanted to show you. Okay so I always love sitting here to do unboxings and things like this. I feel like it's such a nice little setup like I always love just sitting down having good old chat. I honestly this made.com chat is like the best investment I have ever made. I feel like if you just want like a little accent chair or something like that, made.com, it's the best place to look for. And I love the setup because you've got the shelves behind me. I've got my gorgeous little still and bloom table, which I always get questions about my little um, wooden tables in this room. They're from a really cute little company, um, which are actually really locally based here in Hampshire. And they make the most gorgeous like oak, 
wooden tables um like side tables units things like that they do so many gorgeous pieces i really want to get a kitchen table from them one day i think that would look so nice downstairs in the living room so i'll link them down below but such a tangent a couple of things to unbox with you so the first thing i think i'm really really excited about is a really kind press delivery something that i feel so lucky to have been a part of and i'm so so excited to try so it is actually a really lovely gift from ghd with their new ghd unplugged straighteners and you guys know what a huge huge fan i am of ghd i have literally used ghd straighteners since i was probably about 13 14 like i had a really I was gonna say really old pair they obviously weren't old at the time but I remember me and my sister both chipped in and spent all of our like weekend job money on buying a pair of straighteners we used to share them and I had those for literally like seven years and then I bought a new pair about two years ago which I use genuinely so so much like especially when my hair's a little bit shorter and I do my bob a lot I use them all the time for my bob and they're really great for doing you know like my um nice like voluminous curls I really like them for that so they are so so fab and I just think the brand is amazing like they do so many gorgeous products this is the GHD Unplugged on the go cordless styler so this is their cordless hair straighteners which I'm so so excited about and I feel like these are going to be perfect to take away with me because I do find that I mean if my hair is struggling in the humidity here in England when I go away to Tenerife like it is not too humid like I feel like there's different places that you go where it's really humid like it's more of a dry heat but it's just so hot and your hair drops out so easily so I feel like these are really really perfect to take so I've actually got a little press release here which just kind of explains some of the different things that you can do we've got the bouncy waves tutorial and a breezy curls tutorial that's really cute that they literally like speak and kind of like talk you through exactly how to do it so for the bouncy waves obviously you need to prep with a um they call it a bodyguard spray, a heat protectant spray. Um, section the hair diagonally back into two inch sections, beginning at the bottom. Place the GHD Platinum Plus at a 180 degree angle and glide down from the head. Continue this technique throughout the head until all the hair is curled away from the face. That's what I do for my curls, basically. I just twist it round and pull down and it's a really, really easy way to create really lovely curls. But I've seen so many girls that have done such amazing things with like straighteners. I watch their videos online and I'm like, wow. Sometimes I I wish I was that creative um but I thought I would unbox this because I'm really really excited about it oh they are absolutely gorgeous they look so luxurious oh they're a bit heavier than I was expecting I'm not gonna lie I mean I guess they kind of have to be because obviously you need to have the battery inside to make sure that they um actually do last but look at those they're tiny they're so tiny they've actually got quite a good decent sized plate I have had some cordless straighteners in the past that I've used and not to bash them or anything like they were fine but i did find that the plate was so tiny that i could barely get enough hair like i have such i wouldn't say it's the thickest hair in the world but i just have a lot of it and so i do need something that's going to be able to like really take a lot of my hair and stuff like that so that is so so cute and then it also comes look at this it's like a little ghd pencil case this is so the kind of thing that i would have like reused when i was at school as a pencil case and coming like yeah guys i have a ghd pencil case excuse you but really really tiny so this is going to be perfect just to put in my hand luggage actually um which is great because it's just so simple and then it means that when you need to take it out for the um the security it's super easy just to take out like that how gorgeous is that oh that's actually really handy okay i like that because the problem that i've had with the um different brand one is that it was like a full-on case that you had to sit it in so if you wanted to take it away with you it was practically impossible because you literally had to take this thing that was like the size of my fist that it sat in um so it's literally just a teeny tiny little wire and a plug so that's so handy and it's just plug straight in at the bottom there so what a lovely gift to receive and then they've also sent over with that the mini paddle brush which they've obviously sent the mini because that is a much more travel size one which oh my goodness it's tiny look how teeny tiny that is oh my gosh i'm kind of in love i feel like this might be good actually i've been meaning to get a paddle brush recently for when i brush out my curls i usually use a comb but i've seen a lot of people recently that have been brushing them out with paddle brushes and it creates a bit more of like a fluffier bouncier look so maybe that will be an option but um 
yeah such a lovely luxurious gift from ghd that's definitely something i'm going to be taking away with me when we go to tenerife because i definitely think i'm going to need it um so yeah and then the other thing that i have to unbox with you is a little order that i placed on farfetch i literally placed this about two days ago i'm not gonna lie i was really worried that they wouldn't arrive in time before the holiday but they are here and i'm so excited because i've been eyeing up these sunglasses for ages i absolutely adore ray-ban i have so many pairs of ray-ban in my collection i feel like they're such a great like mid price pointed sunglass brand like they're not overly expensive they're not designer price points like they're not the price of my um like valentinos or my gucci's or anything like that but they are such high quality really really well made and they just look so classic like ray-bans never go out of style no matter what like style you buy i feel like every single shape they do i absolutely adore so I've been eyeing these up for ages and I decided I was like I'm just going to take the plunge because we've not got all that much longer left of summer and I want to get my wear out of these and actually I feel like these are going to be a really great autumn pair as well so it's this stunning pair these are called the Arista 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 I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it but the Arista sunglasses and I am obsessed oh my goodness look at these oh they're just fabulous aren't they absolutely fabulous i definitely have realized that i feel like bigger sunglasses like bigger frames um really really suit my face which is kind of weird because i have such a small face and such a small head um but i really like these kinds where it's like just like very metal it's quite minimal on your face i feel like they're really great for like hot countries i must say as much as i adore my valentino ones they are tight and i do find that by the end of the day i do get a little bit of an ache just here from where they've been kind of like pinching ever so slightly on my head oh my goodness I love them. I absolutely love them. They are so, so cute. So I'm definitely going to be taking these away from me. They give me like quite a vintage tint because obviously they're brown. I'm looking around like, oh, this looks very retro. Very retro. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be taking those away with me and you can expect to see me wearing these a lot whilst we're away in Tenerife. You guys know what I'm like when I go on holiday as well. I always have a bit of a colour theme and like a bit of a kind of trend with regards to my outfits and i definitely think in terms of accessories the theme is tan absolutely tan and browns i'm loving it i'm really loving it i feel like it's because it's such a like late summer holiday and i'm starting to almost think a little bit about autumn and so there's kind of tones are starting to trickle in which i really really like so yeah so excited about those i think they are such a great addition to add into my holiday accessory wardrobe i feel like when it comes to sunglasses investing a little bit more is so important because they last you so long you can wear them in autumn winter as well it's not just for summer and they're the kind of thing that don't date like i literally bought my gucci sunglasses about five years ago and i still wear them to this day so yeah so glad to have added them into my holiday wardrobe but i need to get going to go and get my nails sorted go and get these bad boys taken care of because the regrowth is not even funny so i will catch up with you guys Does anyone else do that thing where whenever they get something new they just have to wear it straight away of course i'm wearing the new sunglasses but i've just come to bedford place now um which is where i always get my hair and nails done it's kind of in like the center of southampton um and fun fact behind me is actually my old school um it's such a beautiful like go down that street and you get so many gorgeous very notting hill vibes is better for place absolutely love it so yeah i'm just gonna go get my nails done now the sun is shining it's such a beautiful day i am loving it right back from getting my nails done now and i've gone for the loveliest little nudie nude honestly i feel like i'm the most boring person in the entire world when it comes to my nails i just love a classic nude shades so this is satin pajamas which i really like it's a really really lovely nude color and it goes with so many different skin tones which i really really like and i love it when my nails are nice and short again i feel like i'm the only person in the world that can't stand long nails so yeah i've also got my lovely pandora jewelry on i'm loving these two new little wishbone rings i feel like they look really really nice layered with my halo and then the little knot ring on this hand i think looks so so cute and my new chains so yeah always love fresh nails ready for a holiday i feel so prepped and ready whenever i've got my lovely fresh nails so i've actually just arrived home to a very exciting elemis delivery now if there's one other thing that i feel like is really important prep before your holiday it's skincare prep not only you know making sure that your skin's nice and healthy and you know feeling really good before you go but also making sure that you've got the right products with you i've spoken about this before but i feel like it's worth mentioning that it's never good 
to bring products with you on holiday that you've either not tried before or are kind of like new in your skincare regime. I made that mistake when we went to Ibiza and I really felt it with my skin. Like my skin was so dry. I used a cleanser that I hadn't used before and it was not the right cleanser for me. So I added a few things to my basket from LNS that I wanted to take with me. I wanted to make sure that I had for holiday. So let me get these out. And I can show you what's in here. So first of all, this is actually a new product, but this is one that I have been really, really highly recommended. I don't know if I'm gonna take this one with me because I probably don't quite have the like luggage space. I've only got 20 kilograms available and I'm used to a 23 gram, 23 kilogram suitcase availability. So I'm really going to have to strip down on my skincare. I always feel like skincare is the one thing that really, really like takes you over the weight limit. Um, but this is a clarifying clay wash. So it's a skin clearing facial wash for blemish prone skin. So I thought this looked really, really lovely. I just hate having to open products when I've got new nails. Um, you guys know I'm really working hard to make sure that I'm masking regularly and that I'm kind of like doing everything right. So this says that it's a non-drying clay facial wash which cleanses pores, leaving the skin feeling refreshed and removing impurities and excess oils. Skin is left feeling more balanced and looking clearer for more radiant, mattified and healthier looking complexion. So I like the sound of that. That might be a really good one actually to come home to and use because I do always find when I'm back from holiday, my my skin needs a real refresh. I then have the Superfood Kefir Tea Mist. Now I actually drink kefir every single day. Let me go and get it. This is like super random thing to talk about. Um, but this is just the m and own one. There is like a kefir actual branded one, um, depending on where I'm shopping, but it's a basically milk drink with live cultures. It's kind of like a drinking yogurt. And I have this every single morning now and I would say that it has honestly been a game changer. Um, so it has a source of protein, contain, contains billions of live bacterial cultures, is a source of vitamin B2 and a source of calcium. And it's basically like a yogurt drink. And it's so, so good for so many things. Um, I honestly, this is like my miracle potion that I drink every single morning. It's really good if you have any gut problems, any kind of like IBS type things. This has been really helping me with regards to getting back into eating gluten um, because I do feel like it just kind of helps to make sure that all the stomach like bacteria down there and everything is kind of like working properly. I feel like it also helps me to digest the gluten because obviously being gluten intolerant and not having eaten it for about two years, it's been really, really difficult. Not only has it has obviously like affected my headaches and my migraines and things like that, I do get very, very bloated when I eat it now. Um, so I find that this helps a lot with bloating. It helps a lot with any kind of like IBS type stomach problems. It also helps with heartburn. My um, grandparents had heartburn recently and my mum recommended this to them and honestly they rang us like this has changed my life this has literally changed my life so yeah it's a kefir drink so i'm very excited to see that there is a kefir facial mist so it's got ruibos ru 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 kefir and coconut and it nourishes hydrates and primes so i thought that would be really really lovely to take with me you know when it's just so hot and you just want to like spritz your face with something that looks really really lovely i love that it's like plastic packaging as well so a really great one to take with me i've had a few facial mists which have been glass packaging which is lovely and bougie as that feels i can't exactly chuck that in my handbag and take that with me um so yeah and then I have a new cleansing balm, which I absolutely love. I'll probably take the like half used one with me because I don't need to take a completely brand new one, but it's so nice to have a brand new cleansing balm. Honestly, when I first unboxed this with you guys, you were like, this is gonna change your life. You're not going to use anything else. And I was obsessed with the Clinique one before, the Take the Day Off balm, and I have not gone back to the Clinique one since using this. So I think that goes to show how amazing it is. It's such a lovely, like greasy, thick, like, pulls everything out of your skin kind of a cleanser so i really really like that and then i picked up some day and night cream so we've got the pro collagen marine spf 30 cream which i thought would be a really really good one i mean i always top up with other spf so i'll use my spf 30 primer and i put spf 50 on my face after that as well when i'm away on holiday and then we also have the pro collagen night cream which i am obsessed with i've been using this pretty much every single night and it's such a good one so yeah i just wanted to do a bit of a skincare update before i went so that i knew that i had everything that i needed with me before i go away
So as well as doing some beauty shopping, I have also been doing a bit of fashion shopping and I placed a really small, actually, like a really tiny little river island haul with just a couple of pieces to add into my wardrobe to bring with me to Tenerife with regards to the colour scheme. Now, as I mentioned, I always do a bit of a colour scheme and this is also going to be a bit of a kind of like greeny colour scheme. I'm going to be putting a lot of browns in there as well, which I really just feel like works really, really well for like an end of summer holiday in terms of accessories. I'm going for a lot of tans, a lot of browns. I really like that. So I feel like it's going to be a bit of like whites, greens, browns, maybe a few blacks thrown in there. I feel like it's really, really classic for this kind of a holiday. It's like you've got the sea there, you've got a lot of greenery. Um, with our hotel, I know Tenerife isn't like the most green island. It is quite a volcanic island, which I'm so excited about. I've got lots of plans of what we're going to do whilst we're over there. We definitely have to go and visit the big, currently still active volcano there on Tenerife. But let me show you what I picked up. I've got some really cute pieces. Okay, first up is this dress. I fell in love with this dress. And I mentioned in my last haul that I'm really loving more kind of like bodycon styles. I never used to go for tight fitted clothing. I really didn't feel confident enough with it. I didn't feel comfortable enough, but I feel like this kind of bodycon style is really coming into play this summer. And a lot of people are wearing these really cute little bodycon dresses. And when I saw this stunning like chocolate brown one, I knew I just had to add it into my wardrobe because it really is the perfect end of summer holiday dress because it's like very autumnal very transitional colors but still really summery piece because it's very lightweight it's stretchy it's strappy it's bodycon it's actually from the petite section as well which i really like so i feel like it's going to fit really nicely in length it is actually a maxi dress so because i got it from the petite section i think it's going to fit so beautifully so it's got this really gorgeous kind of halter neck-esque but also has straps on the side kind of detail at the top it's got like a little cutout and i just thought this was a really really cute dress to take with me because i feel like these these kinds of dresses are just like perfect for a girl's holiday for like an evening when you just want to be drinking and eating and like having fun but still being really really comfortable so start off with a cute little pair of slides i feel like black and brown might be quite a cute color combo for like evening wear whilst i'm there but i just thought this was a really really cute one to add into my wardrobe oh my goodness i think we have found the perfect girl's holiday evening dress how stunning is this? Absolutely stunning. I love this like slit that it's got in the middle. I think it's just so, so gorgeous and it pairs really well with blacks. I've just got my June slides on and I feel like a little black bag will just complete this look. But I love this bit up here, this kind of like detail so you can ignore the necklace. I feel like it's definitely better not to wear any kind of necklace with this. It kind of does all the talking itself. I love the fact that it's got the cutout detail and the crisscross over. I just think this looks so much more expensive than it actually is. It does not look like it's from River Island. The only thing I would say is that because it is brown, it's not quite as flattering as black around this area. So I think I would probably choose to wear shapewear with this just to make sure I'm feeling really confident and comfortable around the middle. But I love the silhouette it gives, like the way it just skims at your waist is so flattering. And I think the length is perfect as well. I love this like mid axi kind of length. So yeah, a perfect holiday evening dress ready for a girl's trip. I then picked up a really cute cord that I saw on River Island. And as soon as I saw this, I knew I just had to add it into my basket and into my holiday wardrobe. So first up is like the top of it. And I really like this because I feel like this is going to be very versatile whilst I'm over there. This is the kind of thing that you can style up with the cord for something a little bit dressier, a little bit more kind of curated and thought through. Or if you want something super casual, I feel like this top with a pair of white linen shorts or even like white plissé trousers would be really really cute so it's got this gorgeous kind of sweetheart neckline it's kind of a square but we do have a slight sweetheart there we've got the puff sleeves and then it's got a sheared section to the back which means it's going to fit so so nicely i love it when tops like this have a sheared bit at the back because it just means that they are so much more comfortable so much easier to like get on and they fit so much better so that was the cutest thing ever and then when i saw the skirt i was like that just completes the looks the skirts are really cute again bodycon what am i doing with all these bodycon things it's a really cute little like got this like ruched detail here very like tight fitted very cute little summery piece so i thought this was so 
so gorgeous if you want to be a little bit dressy I feel like this would make a really good especially for girls holidays if you're going up for the evening or if you've got like a more posh day if you want to just look really nice and dressed up I feel like they're a linen blend but I can't exactly remember but they're a really lovely lightweight material lightweight fabrics so they're going to be super comfortable whilst I'm away on holiday and again I feel like this skirt you could get a lot more wear out of as well you could just start out with maybe like a white linen shirt a white like body I feel like there's lots of different ways that you can wear these together and apart which is going to make them really versatile and mean that I will get my cost per wear out of the cold and we have another gorgeous gorgeous outfit ready for the girls trip how stunning is this definitely looks like a dress when you have them together I feel like if you were a bit taller you would obviously have a lot more midriff and a bit of a bigger gap between the skirt and the top but because I am such a shorty I don't have a gap at all and I kind of love it because it makes it look like a really lovely dress but I love the top it doesn't have any zip or anything to get in so it's really easy like you've just got the stretchy bit at the back so i find that great because you just put it straight over your head and i find that a bit more flattering on the side because i really hate it when there's like big chunky zips on the side that you've got to navigate i love this ruching detail like how flattering is this the fact that the ruching continues on at the top as well really helps to kind of make it look like more of a one piece which I really really like and the little side slit in the skirt really helps to just give a little bit more skin I feel like it's very flattering I feel like that is a bit too much material for me a bit too much pattern so having that slit is really helpful just to let a little bit of skin on show so this is such another gorgeous piece as I said I can wear them together I can wear them separately absolutely love this set what a stunning holiday coat one of the things that i absolutely love doing before a holiday is properly sitting down and planning my outfits i feel like there's nothing worse than when you get away and you've just got a suitcase full of clothes rather than a suitcase full of outfits and things that you're actually like excited and ready to wear so like pairing pieces together making sure that like these shorts go with that top and things like that um so i have basically for the last hour or so been sat at my laptop just going through some outfits going through some like holiday wardrobe plans as I said, I love to create a colour scheme and making sure that I've got a bit of a theme before I go away on holiday. I love a theme. I love an Instagram theme, like a feed theme. I love a fashion theme. I feel like it really helps me just kind of like compartmentalise and like plan the outfits a little bit better. It also helps in terms of like making sure everything goes together because I don't want to overpack and have loads of items that can't be turned into outfits that I end up just not wearing and like literally wasting bringing over. Um, so yeah i've got lots of planned and it's nice to be able to like mix and match and put them together so as i mentioned i'm going for a bit of a green white and brown theme as the kind of main theme throwing in a little bit of black in there as well because i feel like that's just going to go really well with like the surroundings i really love as well taking inspiration from the surroundings and i feel like thinking of it as an island can be easy to think oh blue and white but i feel like I feel like it's a little bit late in the season to be bl doing blue and white to be perfectly honest and I feel like we've got a lot of like you know it's a very <clears throat> I don't know what how to describe it but very kind of geological island which I think is really cool and just like I really brought in the green tones from um Croatia I feel like it's gonna be really fun to bring in those like browns and like deeper more earthy tones into the um Tenerife outfit so I have just been planning all the looks making sure that I've got it all sorted it's always really nice to have a couple of new bits in just to like throw in the mix and have a bit of fun with but I am so excited to show you the outfits that I've got planned in Tenerife I will of course course be vlogging whilst I'm away so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because the next vlog will of course be the Tenerife vlog. Well I think it's safe to say it has been a very productive afternoon I am all packed and ready to go I'm just going for my medium size antler suitcase not the biggest one because I feel like because I've only got 20 kilograms it's so easy to overfill that big one so to kind of like make sure that I am really keeping it concise I've gone for the medium size and then we also have just a little pull along and I've got my handbag as well with me which in terms of like um what I keep in it I've just got all my essentials like my iPad my headphones I've of course got my Ray-Ban sunglasses in here as well and then my travel outfit over here I'm wearing my live unlimited dress to traveling because it's just so super comfy and super easy in terms of like 
what I'm keeping in both bags. This is basically just all clothes, skincare and everything like that. And then this is things that I don't want to get lost. I know that there's obviously been a lot of issues with regards to hold luggage recently, things getting lost. Um, so I'm keeping in here basically all my designer handbags that I want to take with me, um, other than my Loewe, which just slots in there. So I've got two basket bags um, as my hand luggage, but I've just got my, um, like my YSL, my Lillian Bean, all of those bags have gone into here, and then all of my cameras and my equipment and things like that that I need to take with me and my laptop goes in there as well. So just to make sure that I've got it with me um, so that I don't have the stress of like, what if all of my very expensive gear gets lost? So yeah, I've got those. But before I actually completely finish packing and making sure that everything is organized, there is one more thing that needs to go into my hand luggage that I have had a new version arrive. Now I have used this product for so, so long and they actually really kindly reached out and asked if I wanted to receive some new versions of it and this is something that I honestly swear by when it comes to holidays and just like whenever I've got a break, whether it's like, um, you know, to family and friends or whether it's going away on broad. If ever I'm staying somewhere overnight, I will always bring these with me and that is an eye mask. I feel like you never know what the lighting situation is going to be like and there's nothing worse than being woken up at like 4 a.m. because it's really bright and I also find that if ever I want to sleep on the plane, this really helps me. I put on my no noise cancelling headphones, I put this eye mask on and I feel like I just can switch off to the world especially if you've got like a really early morning flight and you want to catch a bit of a snooze on the flights so that you're ready to go by the time you arrive at your location so this is a brand called drowsy and they honestly do the best eye masks oh my goodness it even comes with a little carry pouch they do the best eye masks in the entire world they are quite different to other eye masks i must admit and when I first tried this, I was really, really skeptical. I was like, really? Like, that's how it works? Is that even comfortable? But let me tell you, it's so much more comfortable than having the, like, um, sorry, let me put that down. So much more comfortable than having the, um, like, elastic around the back of your head. I don't know if I, about you, but I find that it kind of, like, it's quite tight. I find that it really, like, sticks to my head a little bit. This is so much more comfortable, and I can kind of wear it as loose or as tight as I want. Look at that branding. I absolutely love it when it just feels so luxurious. We love our luxury unboxing over here on this channel. They have sent me a new version of my favorite sleep mask. How stunning is this? It's real silk, which is so, so good for you. I always use real silk with regards to my pillowcases and with regards to like my bedding and things like that. And I feel like a lot of us kind of forget that it can also carry on over to our like face masks and eye masks and things like that. So it basically has this like strap at the back i don't know how well you'll be able to see that but it kind of like has this velcro and it straps around and you basically put it on and it covers so much of your face like look at the size of that absolutely huge and then you strap it to the back and then you can kind of have it as tight or as loose as you want i actually have it quite loose so i can kind of pull it up and over my head if i want to um but i actually do find the velcro is not uncomfortable to sleep on at all i absolutely love it just got the little branding there as well so such a stunning product but i would definitely say this is a great present to give someone um if you know that they travel a lot or if you know someone that maybe has trouble sleeping and things like that these are fab i absolutely adore them so, so kind of them to have sent me a new version of my favorite eye mask i'll put that in the carry case and pop it in my hand luggage because then it means that it is really easily accessible if i want to just go for a really quick nap whilst i'm on the flight i can put that on with my noise cancelling headphones and i switched off to the world so so I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because all I have left to do tonight is do a fresh layer of fake tan, have a nice scrubby shower and get myself ready for the flight tomorrow. I'm so, so excited to be heading away again. So as I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss the Tanner Reef vlog and also make sure to check out my shorts as well because I'm going to be doing a few like shorts, the little shorter clips, kind of like real-esque videos here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing a few of those whilst I'm away to give you a few little like teasers and spoilers and showing you a few things before the full vlog goes live so you don't want to miss those as well but I hope you guys have the loveliest day and I will see you when I'm away in Tenerife. Bye guys!